In today's video, I'm sharing five of what I think are the most wearable and my most favorite trends for the fall and winter 2023 season. There are so many more out there, but we'll just stick to five for now and let's get started. It's time to add some drama to your outfit with a big, bold statement shoulder. Oversized blazers have been on trend for quite some time and I'm totally here for it, but now designers are taking it another notch up and adding some very strong, bold shoulders. And they're not just doing this on blazers, they're doing this on tops and dresses as well. Instead of a puff sleeve or a shoulder, I would stick to a very structured, clean line silhouette using shoulder pads. This could be on a blouse, a sweater, a blazer, or a jacket. I would avoid styles that are overly exaggerated. I think they look a little too costumey and a little too cartoonish. Stick with styles that emphasize your shoulder and then add a taper to the waist. This will contribute to that hourglass shape, making your shoulders bold and your waist look that much smaller. Balance this with some wide leg trousers or jeans. That way you are creating that perfect hourglass silhouette. So you're broad at the shoulders, narrow at the waist, and then come out at the hips a little bit. For a blazer with shoulder pads, make sure that you're keeping your first layer a little on the tight side. That way you do keep some emphasis at your waist or opt for a blazer that has a cinched waist, either with a belt or that it is stitched that way. This is also very on trend right now and really super hot for the fall season. And take it a step further for an 80s power suit, pair it with a pair of cigarette pants or a pencil skirt, and you are rocking that Melanie Griffith working girl attitude, but with a modern twist. Neutrals are always on trend. They are classic, chic, timeless, sophisticated. You can never go wrong with wearing a neutral. But rather than going to your typical black, whites, beiges, or creams, gray is emerging as the dominant color for this fall. Opt for a tonal look with various shades of gray like we saw in this Benetton look, or go for a fully monochromatic look like we saw at Fendi. Definitely be sure to play with texture like we saw in this Louis Vuitton look. It adds depth and dimension to the outfit and gives it some visual interest. Gray also pairs beautifully with other neutrals, but be sure that you're sticking to either a very cool or very warm family when you're making this combination. I have to admit that I'm absolutely the worst when it comes to determining if something is cool or warm when it comes to neutral shades. Of course, a blue or green is very obviously cool and a yellow and orange is very obviously warm, but when you're throwing that into neutral colors like beiges, grays, and creams, I'm lost. So I just try to stick to what looks best on me and if I'm in the wrong color range, well, so be it. I'm enjoying it and that's all that matters, right? But I digress. Another great way to pair a gray is with a very bold color, let's say in this case red, like we saw on the Bottega runway. And if you don't already know, red is also a super hot color going into fall. Look for reds that are a cherry red or a burgundy red, and that is going to be very on trend. But of course, if you don't like the color red, if you don't like the color gray, it's okay. You don't have to wear these things. Fashion is very subjective and you don't have to wear anything just because it is on trend. Wear what you love, wear what you enjoy, and that is what makes you feel most confident, most successful in the way that you dress. I have to admit, I only currently own two gray pieces in my wardrobe. I picked them up over the summer from Cause, and I'm absolutely in love with them. And that has absolutely opened the door for me to enjoying more gray for the fall season. Let me know, ladies, are you into gray for fall or just in general? We're about halfway through the video, so if you're enjoying it so far, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up because it really lets YouTube know that you're enjoying it. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. This channel is all about a very chic, feminine, and sophisticated aesthetic with a little bit of a modern and trendy twist. So if that's something you enjoy, I think you're gonna love it here. Make sure you subscribe before you leave this video today. Now on to the next trend. From mini to maxi, from tube to turtleneck, and from bodycon to relaxed, the runways were showcasing sweater dresses for all shapes and sizes and for all tastes and aesthetics. Coming from someone who loves to style an actual outfit, meaning I love to pair a top and a bottom together, I'm recently finding a new appreciation for the feminine ease of just throwing on a dress and running out the door. And though I do find a dress to be easy, one and done, throw on and go kind of outfit, you do need to accessorize it to make it personal and 
to speak to your style. Add a belt, a bold statement necklace, a fabulous boot, maybe not all three at the same time, but do something to transform that dress into something more personal, more chic, and something that is more your personal style. Some of my favorite looks on the runways were the mini dresses paired with thigh-high boots. Those are also really hot for the season. Let me know if you're daring enough to wear some thigh-high boots. I think I might give them a try. If you prefer to opt for a midi or a maxi sweater dress instead, I do think it needs to have a little bit of shape. Whether it's a slit up the side to show a little bit of leg or maybe a little bit of a fitting through the waist, something to give you a little bit of a feminine silhouette. You don't want it to be oversized or too relaxed because it will end up looking a little frumpy and a little bit like a potato sack. And we do always want to emphasize our beautiful feminine bodies. Leather is back, but does it ever really go away? On the runways, we saw head-to-toe leather looks. We also saw leather layered on top of other leather, as well as leather layered with other textures. Of course, there was a lot of black leather, but we also saw a lot of neutral colored leathers, a lot of whites, creams, and beiges. We also saw olives and reds and burgundies, and of course, our new favorite, gray. As the weather cools, a leather jacket is always a staple in our closet, but this season, try to venture out to other leather pieces. Perhaps a matching leather set, like a blazer and pair of trousers, or a blazer and a skirt, maybe a full-length dress all in leather, or maybe a leather vest with a leather blazer over it. When done right, all these looks can look very sophisticated and very feminine. But you have to be careful because I do think there is a fine line between looking chic and looking like a biker chick. So <laughs> you do have to be a little bit cautious of how you put these leather items together. Look for pieces that have some structure and tailoring to them and try to create a little contrast in your outfit. That means pairing a little bit of leather with maybe something a little on the softer side, perhaps some lace, silk, or something softer and plush, something furry like we're gonna talk about in a little bit. That's gonna give you a little bit more of a feminine masculine contrast, which is always very chic and always very sophisticated. Let's snuggle up this season with a very plush, furry, fluffy, teddy bear chic addition to our wardrobe. Designers were not shy with faux fur for the season. Let me know if you agree, but I find it so cozy and so comforting, it's so warming to have a furry jacket. All you need is a hot cup of cocoa and you are absolutely set for the cold weather. Designers did not just stop with the jackets and coats. They gave us vests and tops and they trimmed out other garments with this fluffy, fluffy goodness. Honestly, I wish I was in a colder climate because I would love to snuggle up with one of these furry teddy coats in the winter. But if you are in a colder climate, I do highly suggest you give one of these a try. I think they are so comforting and so warming and will just put a smile on your face. That's my five favorite trends for the season. Let me know which one you're looking forward to most, or if I missed one that you're excited about, leave it in the comment section below and maybe I'll address it in a future video. Again, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you're new here. I'll be back next Wednesday with another fashion video. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful week.